something. <laughs> All right, so we're here today to show you guys how to adjust your tick adjustable master. Uh, we're going to do the rev test and you know basically show you how to dial in the proper amount of disengagement of your clutch. And one thing that you want to keep in mind is that you don't want to adjust the pedal out too much because the master cylinder has a larger bore and it's capable of flowing more fluid. So the potential is there to damage your pressure plate if you have too much travel. You know, it's, the pressure plate is designed to be actuated a certain amount. And if you overextend it, you know, it could cause damage to that. Inside the car, you'll notice that the clutch pedal is adjusted way down near the floorboard. We've got our master cylinder installed and we're gonna start the process with the clutch pedal down really close to the floor. The idea is just so that we don't overextend the slave cylinder by adjusting the pedal up too high right out of the gate. And so what we're gonna do is we'll get into the car, we'll start the car up, we'll push the clutch down and we'll just see if the transmission will actually go into gear. And obviously if the clutch hasn't disengaged fully, uh, when you try to put it into gear, you may notice the car tries to roll a little bit or it'll just block you out of gear. And of course you don't want to force it. If, if that's the case, then what we will do is adjust the pedal up a couple of rounds on the adjustment rod and we'll try the same thing again. You can see as I try to put it into gear that the car will, will nudge forward just a little bit. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but the car's trying to roll and it doesn't go in the gear. We, we just tried to push the clutch pedal in to disengage the clutch with the car in neutral. And when we tried to put it in the first gear, you, you can notice that the car tries to roll just a little bit. Uh, you know, may notice that the engine RPM would bog down a little bit, but uh, uh, basically what's happening is clutch is not disengaged enough to slow the transmission from turning. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust our pedal up a couple of rounds and we'll try the same test again. Pedal is up another half an inch or so in height. So we're, as we're adjusting that rod up, what we're actually doing is just adding stroke to the master cylinder. So we will achieve more fluid flow, which will achieve a more complete clutch disengagement. So now that we're going into gear smoothly, uh, you can start to ease the clutch out and kind of note where in relation to the pedals travel that it would start to engage. Cause you don't want it to be just right against the floor or you know, otherwise the car will be super hard to drive. Uh, but right now, if we start to engage the clutch, you know, the pedal comes up maybe an inch and a half. It's a little close to the floor, probably for, for my preference but we'll go ahead and do the rev test and see if the car moves forward uh, you know during the rev test so essentially what that is is with the car here on level ground we're going to disengage the clutch and and put the transmission into first gear <clears throat> and we'll bring the engine rpm up to whatever we're comfortable with so you know if you have a a factory engine that you know would redline at 6,000 RPM, for example, you might give it a quick rev to you know 4,500 or 5,000. You know, we're not asking you to hold your engine on 6,000 for an extended period of time. It's just a, a quick test. So I'm gonna start the engine up. Of course, everything is is warmed up. You don't want to do this with a cold engine. Um, but we're we're prepared for that. So we're gonna rev this thing to probably around 6,000 and just see if it tries to creep forward any at all. Okay, so I revved it to like 5,500 or 6,000. I don't know if it shows on the camera, but it did try to roll or nudge forward just a little bit. We may not be perfectly level where we're sitting at, but 
Uh, it, it did try to move, so that would be an indication to us to adjust the pedal up a little more. So we're going to do the same thing we've done twice now, and we're going to turn a couple more rounds to bring the pedal height up. And one thing that you want to keep in mind is that you don't want to adjust the pedal out too much because the master cylinder has a larger bore and it's capable of flowing more fluid. So the potential is there to damage your pressure plate if you have too much travel. You know, it's, the pressure plate is designed to be actuated a certain amount. And if you overextend it, you know, it could cause damage to that. So one thing is you start getting higher and higher in your pedals travel. If you, when you push the pedal down, you can note that there's a, a firm effort. It's like the effort goes up and then after a, like the midpoint of your stroke, it would kind of soften up and it would, you know, then go down to the floor. And I kind of would describe that as like the, the feel of pulling a compound bow back. You know, it has a lot of effort, but then it has some release to help you hold it down. So if you've adjusted out too far, what you would notice is you can feel that breaking point, as I would describe it, to the point where it gets easier to press. But if it's adjusted too far, you would notice right before it reaches the floor that the effort would, would change again and it would become, you know, a weird feel or an extra firm feel again. And that would be a red flag that you've adjusted to the point that you've pushed the pressure plate as far as it wants to go and then you're forcing it beyond that point. So you don't ever want that effort to feel like it changes just before the floor. Uh, so anyway, everything feels good here. So we're gonna start it back up and do one more rev test. And then we should be good to go, you know, for, for the track or driving or, or whatever. So at this point, <clears throat> I would consider the clutch adjusted. Uh, at the track, if you're turning more RPM than maybe you're doing during the rev test, it may need some fine tuning. Uh, in this car's case, I think we're ready to go. So at this point, we would just tighten our jam nuts down on our rod. There's a half inch nut on the lower end near the cylinder, and then a 9 16 up top at the hind joint. So you wanna make sure you lock both of those down uh, if you only tighten the one end on the hime, the rod coming from the rear of the master itself could still spin and change the adjustment. You know, in other words, it, it's not uh, indexed or referenced to the cylinder, it's just a, a ball and socket basically that could twirl around and thread itself in or out. So make sure you lock them down on both ends. And then the last point would really just be to uh, make sure in an F-body's case, as we're in here today, that the upper clutch switch has been adjusted to contact the pedal itself. Because if your pedal height ends up at a lower level than what you know was intended factory, then you may not be closing that circuit at the top of the pedal's travel, so then you'd have an issue with your cruise control and things like that. So, and, and that is adjustable. Uh, if, if you need to adjust that, and you can visually look at that and, and see that, uh, but you can just disconnect the wiring from that switch and it's threaded so that the switch will thread in or out of the pedal assembly and you can make sure that you're getting that contact for your cruise control. So otherwise that's, that's it, that's how to adjust your clutch and, and do it the right way.